Boom shakalaka, what is going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, we have a sponsored interview from Nimic. Now, I'm not keeping this money, I'm actually giving it to you. So if you want to find out how to win it, stay tuned until the end of this episode. But guys, when I heard about Nimic, I went and checked out the website and they have a very impressive website, which made me think I should do a bit more research about this. And it's a pretty interesting project. So stay tuned to find out more about it and I'll see you at the end of the video. What's going on everybody? Randall here from Crypto Love. Today we are joined by Max, the project ambassador from Nimic. What's going on, Max? Hey, boom shakalaka Randall, nice to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> everything meet- cool. Thank you very much uh, for being here today with you and I'm excited. Yeah, awesome. So today we're talking about Nimic. Now Nimic may be a project that not many people have heard of yet, but what makes Nimic unique? Why, why would people be interested in Nimic? Well, I think um, uh, our most important feature is that we are a so-called browser-first blockchain. So Nimic runs on its own protocol, so we didn't, uh, we don't run on another blockchain. So we built everything from scratch. And the very important part is that we put blockchain technology into the browser to make it accessible for everyone. So basically, if you think of if you want to run a node or you need technical knowledge to to actually connect to a blockchain and be a, a part of it, we took everything of that away, made accessing it really easy and put the technology necessary to run a node into your browser. So basically what you have to do is you open a web browser um, you type in nimic.com and you open your wallet and you are running a, a browser node and you're, as we call it, a first class citizen of the Nimic blockchain. And that includes mining until now and soon we're moving to proof of stake. So uh, just with a few simple clicks in your browser, you will be able to, to access the Nimic blockchain and, and um, yeah, experience all of our cool blockchain uh, products and of course staking. Yeah, that's really interesting. It's kind of different than a lot of other stuff because I mean, everyone uses the internet. Everyone's used to using the internet. So uh, this kind of made me think a little bit of something along the lines of MetaMask. Uh, so how does Nimic compare or contrast to using MetaMask? Well, MetaMask is a, a plugin. It's a browser um, uh, that makes, um, I think, the et- Ethereum blockchain um, uh, like it's an interface for the Ethereum blockchain. So you can use um, uh, dApps from it within that browser. Nimic is not a browser, so we are compressing everything that is necessary to connect to a blockchain into your existing browser. So we are browser agnostic. We work on any browser. You don't have to download a special browser to use Nimic, but it actually runs on your phone. So in the past, we um, have experienced people, we had the web miner. Um, so you don't need to buy, um, <clears throat> if you want to mine Nimic, uh, you don't have to buy like expensive equipment. You can, of course you can if you want to, but um, it's, it's enough that you connect with any device to the internet and, and you, run, um, you run your node and, and you can actually um, mine them. So we are, we're not a browser, but we make everything that makes blockchain complicated and inaccessible, very easy and accessible by just yeah, opening a browser on any device. Mm-hmm. And that's really the key in terms of adoption is making it easy so anyone can use it. Um, you sent me over a video about how it just takes a very short amount of time, like less than four minutes to get up and running. And that's a big difference compared with a lot of people who might have hear about Bitcoin and then have to go on Coinbase and wait, I don't know, days to get a verified account before they can purchase something. So what, uh, what advantages or disadvantages are there in being able to do that so fast? And is this something that people can actually go out and use immediately? Um, well, not yet. This is uh, one of our um, uh, yeah, important developments, one of our pipeline products that we focus on this year um, is this very easy onboarding process. Um, it's not live yet, but we are in a closed beta uh, testing right now and, and showcasing it to first uh, um, partners. And there is also a video available um, for people who want to see it. It's basically a fiat to crypto atomic swap. So you can buy your first crypto with just a, a bank transfer um, starting with European banks in the SEPA network um, in Q3 this year. And um, like it's, it makes stuff really simple. 
it's it's always if you say like we are focusing on a good user experience and on making stuff simple you have to differentiate if you are talking about um, people who already know about blockchain and have a basic understanding of how things work and um, that's completely different from someone who has maybe heard blockchain in um, like with bitcoin for the first time many people know bitcoin of course and have heard about the term blockchain but they think it's really complicated to access and like to make a user experience that is easily accessible for someone with zero knowledge about blockchain or actually IT in general is a completely different topic. And so that was always the, the road that we wanted to go down. And, and our main focus is to make blockchain technology with everything that comes with it universally accessible. There's that beautiful word, uh, word called inclusion. Like it's a really inclusive solution where everyone who doesn't have access to a desktop computer, um, um, we want everyone to be part of this, yeah, of this technological future that and, and the bright and the cool stuff that blockchain technology brings to us. And, and um, that was our main focus. So we wanted everybody to be able to take part in the future of um, money. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, now this is browser based, or I think it's browser based. You said, and we call it browser browser first. That is, um, but basically, it runs technology that runs in your browser. And so you don't need to download anything, no plugin, nothing that you have to install on a computer or a desktop um, a device. You just open your browser, and it just works, as we say. And is it programmed in JavaScript? Um, it is uh, programmed in JavaScript, but we are now moving to Rust. But I have to say, this is something very developer specific. Um, uh, so so I'm, um, uh, that's too technical. I think, um, yeah, it's too technical, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like we're, we're progressing or we're moving into Rust because this is like a different technology that makes it easier for a lot of browsers to access the technology and um, but this is uh, uh, something as I'm not a developer and I'm not a coder that's uh, nothing I'm, I'm the wrong person to to get into the real technical stuff sure sure yeah well I was going I, I believe that rust is a more secure uh, language as well because that, that was going to be my question I mean what what are you doing in terms of security for the platform because that's definitely when people are interacting with their own money they want to know that this is a secure platform so are you able to speak on that? Um, let's say security wise, we are aiming to become a truly decentralized blockchain network. So that means um, if you take a look at, at other chains from design, like they run really fast computers, let's say they run 10 really, really fast nodes to enable transaction speeds up to 100,000 transactions per second. Um, but um, like there is not a chance, but there's the possibility of centralizing power, all right? And this is what blockchain technology is not about. It's about decentralized technology. And so with um, the ability to run a node in your browser and with nothing more, we are actually making the whole blockchain more decentralized. And now with the move to proof of stake, um, uh, we have a minimum staking amount um, of 1,000 NIMP, which is currently around $2. $2. Um, a bit more than two dollars at this moment. So it's also a very low entry barrier and um, It will also be available in your browser. So we are encouraging Lots millions of people basically the whole world. Let's invite the whole world to participate in our in staking and Therefore the more we distribute um, the network and the more people um, we enable to get involved with our technology the better and the more secure it actually becomes. So to, by keeping this hurdle, the entry barrier very low and encouraging everybody to take part in it, this is also from a security perspective, um, very important because the more people take part, the more decentral and secure the network will be in the end. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it sounds like it's, it's somewhat early in terms, you guys have done a lot of development so far, but in terms of uh, people knowing about Nimic, how can someone best take advantage of the platform now, being that it is kind of early? 
Well, you know, um, like NIMIC uh, 1.0 is up and running since um, two years. So now we are a proof of work chain and, and we've been yeah, operating for two years now. Um, we have a very vivid community and, um, you know, we are a very tech focused project. So we are um, developing tech to make it really easy for the end user. So what happens, we've got, as a very tech-focused project, we have lots of developers um, um, working for the team. And um, we always preferred to develop first and then market it. Like there are other projects who, who prefer like announcing uh, announcements and, and mm -hmm. then like deliver but we were all are always focused on on basically you know sitting sitting in the dark and building our cool pro products and then rolling them out this is why i'm pretty new to nimic um, i just joined the team um, a couple of months ago in february because that was when the team was reaching out and they say all right listen now we are actually ready to to go and talk about what we're doing and, and we're entering into a stage where we can really talk to partners and, and get people involved. And so we're basically um, uh, really just getting started with that. Um, if you wanna, or if people want to uh, explore our website, nimic.com, um, there are some uh, third-party applications uh, developed by our community. And of course, we developed, as we're a payment protocol, we are digital cash, so um, we also develop um, easy blockchain payment solutions and um, so if, if people run a web shop they can install our WordPress or WooCommerce plugin and um, accept crypto um, and we, we're just really really getting started and we're appreciating all new kinds of ideas and initiatives that also come from the outside and and contribute to mimic to to become a growing and even more vivid ecosystem but we're actually really just really getting started. Mm -hmm. Great. So for, for the guys watching this, like what would be the best thing for them to do? Download the, or go to the website, create an account and then start mining or start staking or what would they, like supposing that this was to grow in the future, how would they best benefit now? Yes, from of course. Mm -hmm. So what, what everybody is invited to do is uh, to create an account. It's, um, as I said, it's, it's really easy. You can do it basically within 45 seconds and you're um, connected to the blockchain. There's the faucet integrated, so you receive your first name for free. Um, uh, technical users who are into mining um, are, of course, very welcome to check out um, uh, our, our mining features and, and become a miner. We also have um, like chats and dedicated communities in Telegram and Discord um, with lots of information for miners. And um, like uh, further down, down the road when we move to staking, um, uh, of course, this is a whole, whole yeah, different, different idea because you will be able to receive rewards um for for the stake for your staking and at this very moment like we are always welcoming devs who develop cool projects like we have one community dev who built a game store where you can pay with nim and uh, um, so everything that contributes to being able to spend your nim is is always something that we're looking forward to and um yeah Basically, basically, it's uh, every everybody's looking forward to uh, to staking. Cool. Uh, we're building partnerships where people, sure, as a payment coin, it's very important that you can actually spend your name. And mm -hmm. um, we're working on partnerships in the background. It's too early to talk or announce anything um, mm -hmm. uh, like about that. But of course, um, this is very important, and we're working on it. But everybody is excited for the future um, that's about to come. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so I think we covered a lot today. Anything that I didn't ask that we should talk about with NIM? Uh, well, um, uh, NIMIC is available on, on basically any channel inside and outside the crypto world that you can imagine um, uh, from YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Telegram. Um, you can find us anywhere. Um, our community is very welcoming. Um, so um, please, if anybody should be interested, feel free to visit and ask questions. And um, of course, if you're a merchant and you run a cool online shop, please, please reach out and get in touch. That is a very, very important initiative um, that we are um, looking for for um, uh, online shops. And of course, our um, Oasis 
um, technology, which basically enables a crypto to fiat atomic swap. That's the technology that I showed you in the video. You can uh, um, also watch a video and mimic.com slash oasis will give you um, some more insights about this technology. And this will also enable merchants in the future to accept cryptocurrencies in their web shop and directly receive fiat money into their bank account. Mm. So that is one of our um, also really like a flagship product when it comes to um, uh, checkout solutions with crypto. There's lots of, um, yeah, lots of information to be discovered. We'll be launching our wallet 2.0 very soon so that will be like the main hub for staking and also for easy crypto on ramp feel free visit our channels you will find everything that you need to know and that you're interested in um over there awesome well thanks very much max it's been an absolute pleasure today i think people learn some stuff and then they can just go find out more on your website or social channels What's up guys, Randall here. Like I said, I am giving away the money that I earned for this video. As a matter of fact, I'm giving away $12,000 in Bitcoin this year. So if you wanna find out how to win that, make sure you watch the next video I have coming out on the 1st of July. I'm going to be talking about how exactly you can win $12,000 of Bitcoin, which I don't know if Bitcoin explodes like it might, it could be worth a lot of money. So you'll definitely want to check out the next episode. Peace.